does it ever end? I told y'all that this Me Too movement will turn into the movement to destroy black men. Now Neil deGrasse Tyson is accused of having a moment with two white women years ago. He said, I, 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 let me tell you something. The reason why I believe they're going after this brother because he's extremely smart. He's frequently on television. And he makes white folk look like idiots when they, when they say stupid things. And he's arrogant. And they don't like an arrogant black man that make white folk look stupid. Bill Maher have him on every, 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 other, every other month or so, almost. And, and he asks stupid questions. And Bill, and, 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 I mean, Bill asks stupid questions. And Neil looking like, man, you crazy as fuck. He's, he's practically a regular on The View, almost. He's been in, on Windy City Live multiple times. This brother's always on TV. This brother's hosted specials on Fox. Remember, they, they, had, they had a special where he hosted, I think it was coming on Sundays, Cosmos or something. I can't remember exactly what it was, the name of it. Now they go after this cat. And the thing is, what they say he did was, was in 2009. 2013, we're in 2018. Now all of a sudden, y'all say you didn't say nothing in the beginning of the, in this year. You say the last year. Now y'all saying something. I keep telling y'all, these women are out here. They out here. They see. They see blood in the water, and they said we're gonna get these niggas. I told y'all this is how they take down black men. They use sex. Remember the other the other month. Or the mother full ass, I should say, that white woman lied on that little black boy. Said that he touched the ass. She choked, she went after a nine-year-old boy. I keep telling y'all, I keep telling y'all, brothers, you got to be extremely careful. And I'm gonna be honest with you, one of these black men gonna get accused. They're going to accuse the wrong brother. He's going to snap. This is why I don't flirt with them. I, when they be flirting, <laughs> these so funny, be touching me, I pull the fuck back from them. Because you ain't getting me on no, no Me Too shit. But when you have black women, ain't men in these women, y'all getting the green light, like, go after our man. Now, this brother could have very well did what they accused him of. But when you read what they say they did, you're like, really? Or allegedly did, you're like, really? He made a pass at you. They got a picture where this white woman had a tattoo from her arm uh, of, 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 the, uh, of the solar system or something. Going out her back, something to her um, something. And he made a joke. And, it was, and she said it wasn't serious enough to warrant a complaint. But it was kind of creepy. He made up, he, 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 you, you went out there, you said, Neil, look at this tattoo. You got in this orbit. You, you got a tattoo w w w in, a, in a place that would be, we could deem sexual or whatever. And, 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 and you put it out there, and then he, he bit if he did do it. And now, almost 10 years later, you yelling about it. Come on, man. They going after this cat. I told I told y'all what they what they what they gonna do. I already told y'all what they on. This is how they this is how they get there, huh? It's fucked up, man. It's really fucked. I told y'all this is how they destroy black men. Look how look, I'm gonna do a video, and folks, before y'all even ask me, I'm going to do a commentary about the brother that that got kicked off of the Chiefs. This that was it, it was a Ray Rice situation, but this time was it is different. Well, I take that back. It is a Ray Rice situation, considered ESPN and TMZ had a part to do with it. And 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 and, and, and I'm gonna tell black men something. If a white woman put her hands on you. Or start saying shit to you. Pull out your cell phone. Pull it out immediately. Start recording. 
Start, if something happened, you tell your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, aunt, uncle, somebody, people that you know, that, yo, man, you know what happened to day at work? This white woman said this. She did this. What should I do? Go to Human Resources. Do whatever you have to cover your ass because I'm telling you right now, I know what they're doing. And when they, and when they report a, a black man getting accused of something, they treat it as it's the truth. And they start letting these women victims. These women ain't victims. These women come and flirt with with these with brothers. And when they realize they they can get, they say, ooh, everybody else getting paid. Ooh, 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 everybody else is causing niggas to get shot dead. Ooh, I want to have, have a turn. Why you think so many white women lately have been just, even though they've they been getting called out, they still take a chance and, and, and want to get in, get in our face. Because they figure the law of averages. They figure, well, I'm going to get shot dead. Well, I'm, we're going to destroy their career, their reputation, or we're going to get paid out of it, off of it. These white women are playing into a dangerous stereotype that black men are successful with white women, and we don't. If a black man nods a white woman's beauty, that's one thing. If he's intimate with a white woman, that's another. But as far as beating and, and with all this other stuff, sexual harassment, yeah, there may be some brothers that cross that line. But on average, black men don't fuck with white women like that. And this is why I get so upset when black women push that. Black men, we change them to white women more. No, we don't. If that's the case, these brothers, these white women, we defend these brothers to the hilt. These white women say, well, you misunderstand them. Tell me why a white woman came and defended the black men. Ain't, ain't a whole lot of them out there either. Tell me when they even defend them. But they came out defending that dude to go to the Supreme Court. Women do lie. Tell us what our sisters have come out of full force and say women do lie, given the history of this country or this planet. While they was out there yelling for Bill Cosby here, what about old girl that admitted that she lied and got Emmett Till killed? Oh, she's 87. Wait a minute, Bill Cosby's 87 and y'all ain't hold back on him? But this bitch got a person killed. We have evidence. Witnesses. They went to trial. She lied. Y'all got hearsay with Cosby, but he's in jail. Every fucking week, it's a brother doing a perk walk, famous or not. Let me say this again to, to the brothers out here, young and old. I don't care how fine she is. Y'all better, if you left-handed, use your left hand. If you're right, use your right hand and jack the fuck off and call it a day. Because I'm telling y'all, you're going to go to jail. You're going to lose everything you've worked for over a piece of ass that you ain't touched. We know we get flirted with out here all the fucking time. And, and that's the thing. They don't they want to pretend like we didn't we didn't we didn't we didn't come we didn't we didn't want him. We got unwanted and, uh, advancements. Uh, I, I, I've seen them flirt. I've been on a receiving end. Flirt, they flirt, they flirt. Lord forbid if you drive a certain car or if you got a damn pet. I got a service animal. They see me and, oh my gosh, you two are so, so cute. Oh my, okay, oh you two, it looks so adorable. And, I, and I'm like, man, I don't get the fuck away from them because the uh, next thing they be saying, he, 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 he pretend to talk to me with his da 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 and he can't, no, uh, uh no, 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 no. I've seen too many black men go down the last decade and, and after what they did, they did this deal with Bill Cosby. But don't talk about Harvey Weinstein and Les Moon Lens and all these other cats. I keep telling y'all, and I said it last year, I said, they're going to turn this back on us. Well, I, didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I warn y'all about this? I, what's that say? I told you so. I told you so. They going after us. But they saying, get rid of the men and they figure more of a threat. This dude just doesn't talk about astrophysics and, and, and all the other stuff. He talks about pop. He, he didn't make a lot of white folks stupid on these shows. Put that nigger in chat. And then, brother, if you did cross a line, shame on you. But I'm going to give these brothers the benefit of the doubt because we assume guilt. We're so afraid we're going to lose our livelihoods. Because he fuck. That's why we need to have our own shit. 
Now, if you're a white man or a white woman and you don't have that racism in your heart, you need to push back on this one. Last year, Ashley Banfield at uh, HLN uh, went after uh, white women. You guys are falsely false accusing me. But I said, I realized who they was defending. The new niggas, the, the, the replacement niggas, I like to say. The Hindu, the Indian, what do you want to call them? All of a sudden, white women started calling out other white women. And then you had gays start calling out. But when they started accusing black folks, everybody went silent. Everybody like, yeah, accused them. Make them out to be the sexual predators. But into that stereotype. I can see a foul looking female and not run over and kiss her ass. I can see a fine female and not, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, how you doing? A lot of times you'll look, you smile, or you don't pay attention. Because every day they get dicked on at them. And a lot of them heads are swole. But when you get a Caucasian female, regardless if she look fine or not, oh my gosh. I want to be, I'm going to be, 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 be on TV. I want people to think that I'm being harassed. You know, he said this to me with your, it was 1955. Really? It was 1986. It was 2003. Nothing. And they make sure it's shit that they can't, that it's been years ago that you can't prove. Nothing recent. They didn't say shit all this time. It went to the end of the year. They didn't say nothing last year. They didn't say nothing prior. All of a sudden, well, he, he, he made advancements to me that was inappropriate. He unwanted sexual advancements. Y'all really, y'all really bought into that. What it is, his brother is on TV. His brother is, is smart and they hate that. Look at that uppity nigger on TV telling us what we should and shouldn't know. He's giving his opinion. He's being proven right. He didn't make, he didn't make, I remember he made Bill Maher look stupid on his show. But people like listening to him. But white folk, they, 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 they like, <laughs> he's on TV too much. He's writing books. Usually we see this, that space is there for some white dude. <laughs> see, that's why I say it's more of us than them than they, than they think. It's quite a few black men out here can hold their own. But after a while, they said, we, no, we got to stop this nigga. Well, he's keep getting booked on these different shows. Let's say he harassed one of our women. Not one, two. No, no. Don't be, don't be surprised if more come out the woodwork. Let me remind y'all, when they went out to Todd Bridges, you knew something was up. 